Hey guys! <laughs> okay, so today's video, I know I say this in like every one of these collection videos, but today's video is an exciting one. I am excited. I cannot contain my excitement. There's a few things I want to talk about in this video and I don't want it to be a hundred years long So I'm just gonna jump into it. I'm just gonna get started. Lips and Tips has officially launched If you're watching this video right now, Lips and Tips is ready to go. Kalepolish.com. It is there. It is ready We have launched and in today's video, we are gonna talk all about it I am so excited to sit down discuss this journey with you because I have so much to say and honestly This is my favorite part about making nail polish and having my own nail polish company. It's just sitting down and talking to you guys about the process and like the whole thing you know I feel like I'm sharing this information with a friend and we're just hanging out and talking about it so I have been working on this collection since kale polish started this was on my to-do list the second we launched our first original six colors I was taking a shower one day and I just thought of this idea I have always liked matching my lipstick to my nail polish it's something I've always done my sister and I do this all the time if I would wear red nail polish I used to love wearing red lipstick to match the nail polish or like bright orange nail polish. I loved wearing an orange lip. It was just the thing I loved doing. So because I had my own colors already with ColourPop, you guys know I have a ton of lips created with ColourPop already. And one day I was in the shower and I was like, oh my gosh, what if I created nail polishes that matched the lipsticks I created with ColourPop? And I immediately got started on it. And let me tell you, let me tell you, it was a lot harder than I thought it was gonna be. To match nail polishes to lipsticks perfectly, it is, it is hard, <laughs> it's, it's hard guys. So I'm gonna talk to you guys all about the process and how difficult it was, but how fun and amazing it was. But this is what the collection looks like. There's so much information I wanna talk about, I feel like I don't even know where to start. So this collection has six nail polishes that were inspired by six of my lippies with ColourPop. This is point zero, behind the little lip here is Alyssa. Then there's Taurus, Lumiere, November, and Aquarius. And this one, by the way, was inspired by the Aquarius lippy stick, like the original Aquarius, not all the other Aquarius's. <laughs> and Lumiere is based off of the original Lumiere, of course, not Lumiere 2, which is much more like intense and purple. Kind of reminds me of Mozart almost a little bit. No, actually, I don't know. If you get the box set, so if you buy the full collection, you get a free ColourPop Ultra Satin Lip. So this box is the exact same price as my fall box, like my fall collection, only with this one, you get a free Ultra Satin Lip, which is amazing. I thought it was so cool to do that for you guys, and I thought it just made sense, you know? So you'll either get an Ultra Satin Lip in November, point zero, or Alyssa. I thought it made more sense to give you an Ultra Satin Lip instead of a lippy stick. I mean, they're $6, the lippy sticks are $5. I thought the satin lip would be a better, would be a better situation for you guys. So yes, I'm so excited. I hope you guys love this collection. I know most of you, if you are buying this collection, it's probably because you already have some of my lippies with ColourPop. So if you already own the one that comes in the box, you can give it to your friend, share the love, or save it as a backup. But yeah, I am so excited and let's get into what you really want to see. So these are what the colors look like and I already know your concerns. I know you look at this and you're like, wow, those seem very similar. And the only two that are similar are these two right here, as you can obviously tell. They look more similar in the bottle than swatched on the hand, but it's Alyssa and Lumiere. But the rest of these are very different from one another. And I have to say, there are three colors that really gave me a hard time when I tried to match them perfectly, and that was Alyssa, Aquarius, and Point Zero. I was on the struggle bus for a long time, but I'll explain as I go along. I'm just gonna get started in no particular order. Let's start off with November. This is actually my mom's favorite one out of all of them. Speaking of my mom, you guys really love the fact that I inserted pictures of my mom wearing all the colors on her nails in like my fall video, so I will be doing that in this video today as well. She swatched all of them on her nails for you guys to see, and she took the picture in natural lighting like outside in her backyard but you will also see me swatching them on like my little plastic nails like usual and 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 I mean this is a lips and tips collection so throughout the video I will be showing you how they look against the lip color obviously so I'm gonna show you clips of me wearing Taurus while wearing Taurus on my nails and same for all of the other shades just so you can see what they look like together you know I mean, it's a lips and tips collection, right? Anyway, the first one is November, and this is actually a big hit at my house. Whenever my friends come over, family members come over, I always try out all my nail polishes on them just because I want as many opinions as I can before releasing a product. And every time somebody would try this on at my house, they fell in love with November. It was just like a thing. Everyone likes this color. And it is so pretty. It's such a nice pink. I mean, if you own the November lippy, it's pretty much identical to it, like almost spot on. They look so cute together. It's like so fun and 
and fresh and this color is completely opaque on two coats you could even get away with just doing one coat of this I mean you can kind of see the nail underneath just a little bit but I mean if you were in a rush and you could only do one coat I think you wouldn't hate it you know but it looks it's true beautiful self with two coats and this is the perfect nail polish for you if you're into an everyday pink that's a little bit brighter than like your typical nude pink oh by the way that's another thing I wanted to mention this collection is not for the bold I know that may be weird to hear but I know there's a ton of people out there who love like really bold colors blues and greens and bright purples and neon shades, but you're not gonna get that with this, obviously. I mean, you guys know that, but this is a very everyday collection. Like, this is the perfect nail polish for you. If, for example, you work at a school or you work at a place where they don't really let you wear bold nail polishes, this is the perfect collection for you because these polishes are literally nudes. I mean, obviously, like, Taurus is not nude on me, but somebody with a deeper skin tone, it does show up a little bit more nude on them. For example, like, when Amelia wears Taurus on her lips and I wear Taurus, they look like two completely different colors. On her, it looks so much lighter and more nude it looks gorgeous on her skin tone I love it so it really just depends on your skin tone but they're all extremely wearable colors and in my opinion they're all really flattering even 0, .0. I think they are just so so beautiful but anyway I am rambling so much I'm driving myself crazy okay so next up we have Aquarius and this one is my favorite in the entire collection not just because of the color but just because it's just so easy to use this one is like my perfect nude if I had to pick one nude nail polish for the rest of my life I, I, I'm pretty sure it would be Aquarius this one though this was a really hard one to work on. It's not the exact same color as the lippy stick. I will just let you know right off the bat. They do look different, but when I was working on this and I tried to make it look identical to the lippy stick, it just wasn't working. I would try to add more beige and it looked weird. I would try to add more pink and it just didn't look anything like it. And when I got almost spot on, the color was almost identical to Miss Honey. So I just had to start all over and try to find a balance somewhere. When this batch was made and I was testing out the sample, I had tested out what felt like hundreds and hundreds of Aquariuses before this point. When I did the first coat of this nail polish, I fell in love. I completely fell in love with it. My favorite way to wear this polish is with one coat. I think it is so similar to Aquarius if you only do one coat. Once you add the second coat to this, it already changes the color. It makes it a bit deeper and it looks less like Aquarius. But with one coat, they're so, so similar. I honestly would recommend if you wanna match Aquarius to this color, just do one coat. And honestly, I think it's so beautiful. Like I was telling you earlier, this is my favorite polish because it is the easiest polish to apply. I don't know what it is about this shade, but I don't even have to clean around the edges. Like, that's how easy it is. I just apply it. And I don't know if it's because it's a light color. I don't know if it's because it almost has a little bit of a jelly consistency. It's a cream, for sure. All of these are creams. But this one is almost like a cream jelly hybrid, almost. A little bit more cream than jelly, but, you know, it's almost there. This is the color that lives on my toes, by the way. I've been wearing Aquarius on my toes for, like, six months now. I can't stop. It looks so cute on the toes. I love it. This is the perfect out-the-door nail polish. If you're like, oh, my gosh, I have to go to a wedding, and I have to be there in, like, 20 minutes, and I forgot to do my nails. You grab Aquarius, you do your nails, and 10 seconds and you're out the door obviously you get like the full opacity with two coats but I don't know there's something about it on one coat that looks so pretty to me and by the way just so you guys are not confused in my mom's pictures she did two coats for every single nail polish and all the clips you see of me throughout this video where I'm wearing the lippies on my lips and the nail polish on my fingers I also did two coats with every single color except for Aquarius I just wanted you guys to see Aquarius with one coat because I think it looks so pretty and I love this nail polish so much which by the way by the way, oh my gosh, this video is all over the place. I just can't even contain myself today. It's, uh, I need to calm down. But anyway, I wouldn't necessarily pick this color for Taurus, and I would not pick this color for Aquarius, because I don't think these colors match their zodiac signs, but since I wanted to name the lippies with ColourPop after me and Danny's zodiac signs, this is what I went with. But don't worry, if I ever do a zodiac nail polish collection, the rest of the colors will definitely match their zodiac sign. Just saying, if that ever happens sometime. All right, so next up, we have the OG lippy stick. We have Lumiere. There's something about this nail polish that makes me really giddy and makes me really happy because it's not my first nail polish, but it was my first collab ever. Lumiere lippy stick was the first time I ever worked on a project, and it was a mind-blowing experience. I had the best time creating Lumiere. 
And I had the best time creating the nail polish as well. I worked really hard on this one. I tried it on everyone. It's just Lumiere is such a tricky color because Lumiere looks different on me than it looks on my mom. It looks so different on everyone. But I feel like I got it as close as I was going to get. And I'm very, very happy with this shade. It does look very similar to Alyssa. I'm not even going to lie to you guys. Honestly, I went back and forth with both of those shades. Mainly Alyssa because I had already approved Lumiere when I was still working on Alyssa. But I was asking every single person in my life, do these two look too similar to launch? Do these two look too similar? to launch and when you look at them in the bottle it's like they look almost exactly the same but it's not until you swatch them both with two coats and you let it dry that they do look different like if I had Lumiere and I saw Alyssa at the store I would totally buy it and I know obviously I'm gonna say that because I created it but if you're a nail polish fanatic if you love to collect nail polishes like if you're one of those people like I was like I still am, then I think you would totally feel the same way. If you're someone who has like 10 nail polishes in your collection and you only get colors you really, really love, then you could totally pick out individual shades. Like if you don't want Alyssa, you only want Lumiere, you can totally do that. But Alyssa is more pink while Lumiere is definitely more mauve and it's absolutely stunning. I love this guy. All right, next up we have point zero, and my, 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 was this one a challenge? It is a gray nail polish, but it does have a little bit of like a neutral brown undertone. I will say the Ultra Satin Lip is a bit warmer than this. It has a little bit more brown to it. This is a bit of a cooler version than point zero, but still, they are similar. When I tried to add a little bit more brown to this shade, it just was throwing off the color. So it is a bit different, they're not exactly the same, but they look so well paired together. I love this combo. Besides the fact that Point Zero is probably my most worn collab with ColourPop, I try not to wear it as much in my videos because I'm constantly wearing it, but now I'm so excited to have a Point Zero nail polish. So pretty, so 90s. I'm very, very into this one. I'm into all of them, but you know. All right, next up is Taurus. I love brown nail polish, especially for this time of year. Mm, I love it. And this one has that really beautiful holiday warm undertone. This one is so, so, so beautiful. And honestly, I was thinking of wearing Prince Cornelius for Thanksgiving, but I think I'm gonna wear Taurus for Thanksgiving. Or maybe I'll do a little bit of both. Maybe I'll do like two nails, Prince Cornelius, and then the rest Taurus. I don't know, I'll figure it out. But this is such a beautiful fall shade. I just wanted to quickly show you what it looks like next to Broccoli and Chocolate and Caramelo. So the bottom one is Caramelo. It obviously looks nothing like it. This one's like a mustard. But Broccoli and Chocolate is a lot darker. It's much deeper, much more rich. This one is a lot lighter and warmer. So this one is Taurus. It is absolutely beautiful. And if you're a Taurus, you might really like it. <laughs> Which, by the way, I love Taurus. Okay, and then last but certainly not least, we have Alyssa. This is the color I am wearing on my nails right now. And it is the color I'm wearing on my lips right now. This one was the hardest freaking color to do. I don't know why. Every time I tried to make it just a little bit more pink than what it is now, just to match it a little bit better, it would be too pink. It wouldn't look anything like it. So right before I was about to approve this shade, I actually wore it in a video. I wore it on my nails and I wore Alyssa on my lips and I asked you guys like, hey, do you think my nails match my lips? And a few of you said it was a little bit off, but so many people were like, yes, they match, they match, they match. And that was kind of like my, okay, you're good to go good to approve. So I just want to say thank you guys. You helped me and you didn't even know. We finally got as close as we were going to get with this color. I love this shade. I remember when we filmed the Lips and Tips commercial, me and Jordan. Jordan was wearing Alyssa and she was like, oh my god, I love this color. I feel like I could wear this color every single day. And that's exactly how I feel. I think Alyssa is the most beautiful everyday pink on this planet, which is exactly how I feel about the lip, by the way. I remember wanting to create a lip that was like the perfect pink for me. And that's how Alyssa came about. And now that's how this Alyssa came about. So, I'm so excited for this one. And yeah, guys, those were swatches of the six new shades that are now available on kalepolish.com. Always remember, if you do not want to buy the entire collection, if you don't want to buy this bundle, you can buy the nail polishes individually. So if you only want like five out of the six or four out of the six or one out of the six, you can absolutely do that. But just keep in mind, I just want to let you know so I don't get the questions, but the only way you get the ColourPop Lippy is if you get the bundle, obviously. Oh, also, oh my gosh, I can't believe I didn't say this in the beginning of the video wow okay this box set is limited edition <laughs> that is so important I'm so sorry this box will not be around forever once it sells out it will sell out and we had a pre-order with a ton of these boxes a few days ago and the pre-order sold out in one day like I was shocked which thank you by the way I, I, can't, like, I really appreciate it you have no idea so I just wanted to let you guys know the boxes are available today obviously it launched today that these polishes are permanent the box is limited edition but the polishes are here to stay so if you get all the way down to an Aquarius not to worry you can get another one but yeah guys that was 
everything I wanted to talk about today, I think. Pretty sure I forgot a bunch of things I wanted to tell you guys. But I really just wanted to get on camera, show you swatches, talk about the colors. I hear you guys, by the way. I know a ton of you guys have been telling me that you missed my beauty videos, and I'm so sorry. There's just been a lot going on with like the whole lips and tips commercial and all that stuff. But don't worry, I will be pumping out more beauty videos. I'm actually so inspired to do more tutorials, and I have a lot of videos planned in my head. So don't worry, more makeup y stuff coming your way. But yeah, guys, I will leave the Kale Polish website down below. And by the way, Mami Mata is actually still available to purchase if you want to donate to a great cause. All profit of Mami Mata goes straight to BCRF. So if you are picking up this collection and you want to pick up Mami Mata to help out a good cause, you know you totally can. But yeah guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope this was helpful for you. Maybe this video helped you make a decision whether you want this or not. And honestly, I thought I would spare you guys the dramatics for this video because I know I get really dramatic in every launch video I ever do. And I don't shut up with the thank yous, but I just want to say thank you. I don't want to get too mushy or too emotional, but I hope you guys know how much I appreciate every single one of you and how blessed I feel to have all of you guys in my life. I am constantly so thankful and grateful that I have subscribers like you guys who are just so incredible. Just thank you for being in my life. You guys make it better and I love you. I hope you enjoyed this collection. I hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe if you haven't already and I will see you in my next video. Bye.